what about uh, you know the specialty chemical space because sort of that's been a favorite there's been gmm for fordler as well as alkalamines is there anything else within this space now that's catching your eye so we continue buying more of gmm and alkyl we've also uh, built a position in a in a in a company called poshak which is the market leader in phosgene so phosgene is an essential industrial chemical it's a it's as essential as say chlorine uh, because it's a controlled substance uh, the government doesn't give out uh, licenses to build phosgene factories very often uh, but the demand for the product is vast supply is scarce um, poshak is the market leader and hence in our in our small cap fund we have built a position in 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 poshak so ajay put things in uh, in perspective for us if you feel that there is a seminal change in the government policy making and you are absolutely right this time the crude burden is something which will not which has not been passed on directly uh, is it time to revisit consumption stocks would you say that in this selling all the consumption stocks which have come down because of fear of inflation and fear of margins is it time to revisit them you know till couple of days back before the election i was heavily negative because the fact remains as we were expecting it to oil to be kind of take away a lot of consumption basket today we would like to revisit on two counts one is that now the all the consumer majors have taken the price increase that's one big thing so i think they are going for protection of margin at this point of time there is no kind of a unnecessary competition in the market that let's underprice and get a market share so that responsible behavior of the players tells me that they are now going after protecting the margins more than just the volumes which is great positive in the in the longer run because that's how you protect your base the company the only reason i'm not going to rush headlong into the major stocks of consumption is the pe multiples you know whichever stock you pick up whether even at this page hul or nestle or the world whatever it is except of course ipc the pe multiples still remain aggravated and you see what happens to elevated pe multiples you saw what happened to diagnostic company pe multiples you seeing what's happening to jubilant food work pe not saying it will happen to a nestle or a sun liver because they have a very strong base of investors but the fact remains that you got to be cognizant that even at the present levels now the some of the clouds are gone dark clouds are gone they have bit the bullet on raw materials and passed on the cost increases you are in a much better shape to reinvest back but be cognizant that these are high pe multiple stocks therefore the returns possibly could lag the market at this point of time but safety is there that they have bitten the bullet and government policy is now running tandem with consumption lot more confidence to buy consumption stories at this point of time now let's talk about your margins as well because they have been under pressure the raw material price inflation as well has been uh, impacting your overall margin picture so what is the pending raw material price inflation that needs to be passed on and how do you see your margins faring first and foremost despite massive cost increase massive increase in logistic cost not only for domestic logistic but also international logistic very happy to share that on consolidated basis our gross profit margin percentage will be intact it may be in line with last year or even better than last year on account of variety of initiatives already undertaken by us that's part one as far as stand alone margin is concerned it is going to be lower the one because intentionally and strategically so far we haven't taken the price increase and at a right time if required we may opt for price increase in the summer season secondly on stand alone basis now our exports to subsidiaries also account for a big chunk and their profitability is shared by symphony stand alone india as well as our subsidiaries so more relevant picture may be consolidated profitability which is likely to be in line with last year or even better than that and that's what we foresee even for ensuring quarters 